Hey, what's up YouTube? Today I'm here to talk to you about a camera tweak. So it's a tweak for your stock iPhone in the jailbreak. I kind of like it. I, I've used third-party apps a lot more with the iPhone than I do uh, the stock app just because the stock app so limited. So this kind of opens that up a bit. Uh, a little buggy but has been you know pretty good. The last version uh, for iOS 7 I found was just too buggy to keep using so I just didn't use it. But uh, it nonetheless does provide a lot of uh, enhancements. So, I mean, you can read through, take a look on City. It's available, um, the dollar forty nine. So once you install it, you get the options in your settings here. So you can enable a bunch of modes. So I like to start up my camera in uh, the advanced modes. Uh, the advanced modes will give you a focus and the exposure points so that you can adjust um, on each side. You can remember your settings, so that is kind of nice. And then um, you can remember, like, if you set the uh, frames specific or dimension specific, you know, if you don't want that. You can also set up activation, um, so you can, you know, show uh, different things with activator. Um, oh no, sorry, that's just activate features. <laughs> A little tired today. Uh, there was activator an activator function as well for it uh, for taking pictures too. So. Anyways, here I am. <laughs> so I'm in the front-facing camera. I'm just going to flip it around. Uh, and then as you can see here, so even in the front-facing camera, you can get some other options. We're going to change it and put something a little nicer on there. So just cycling through the... Uh, so this would be in the video mode here. So you could adjust the frames. Now I've had a hard time kind of using it, so bear with me. Uh, when you hit the little button here, you get your advanced mode. So with that, you can set the adjusted. So if I want to, you know, see how it's going to focus on one, but adjust on the color on another. And then you can also set, it's, it's a little hard to swipe. I find sometimes the tweak doesn't work exactly the way you want it to. You can also add, maybe if I switch here. So... <laughs> You can see what I mean by practicality. I mean, it's, it is cool. So this is what you can do. You can actually add in a grid, uh, which makes when you're lining up pictures and stuff like that really nice. So let's say I wanted to I don't normally put it in the middle. But it isn't. Let's see if we can get it here. <laughs> so again, it's not going to work for me. And then you should be able to adjust the frames per second. You can adjust the different videos. So if you go into 720p, you, I was able to adjust the frames per second, but it's not working. So that's just kind of its real use. Uh, the level you can turn on there. Um, I found for the front-facing camera, it gave a little more usability, which I kind of liked. Um, with having the front-facing camera, you know, usable on something but you can see here it's even froze up a bit so I don't know exactly how stable the tweak really is I've had to exit out of the camera a lot you know close it and go back in and it'll be okay for again and y you can use it I mean I've had it installed for a while there I am again hi and uh, <laughs> there it crashed and it opened up again anyways so uh, that, I guess, is a great real-world example of the tweak. Uh, if you think it's worth buying, uh, there's definitely a repos where you can try it out. So, uh, my phone doesn't want to come back on. Anyways, guys, uh, you know, that, that's the tweak. I don't know if you'd really want to pick it up, but it uh, does work sometimes and is pretty cool. So, please like, subscribe, and we'll see you again next video. Cheers.